Right, welcome back. Got another toy. This is not too happy, but we've got one. So a camper van, right? It's not a camper van unless you've got a TV. Now, some might argue, mm, you, you don't need a TV right in the wild and all that stuff. But when it's lashing down, you've got kids, right? And you need something that just keep them entertained or just a little background noise. And also, just play some music videos when you're chilling out and stuff like that. I saw these at NEC and I was touch and go, oh, do I want one of them? And I thought, no, I don't want one. Got home, thought, should have bought one. So went online, checked a few prices and stuff like that. Found them at exactly the same price what the show prices was. That's another thing as well. Show prices. They ain't cheaper than what they are in, when you normally buy them, I tell you. Some of the stuff that was for sale. I tell you, it was near enough more. I'm not mentioning no names as well, but I had an in-depth conversation with somebody with regards to something for the van. And they were trying to charge me more at the show than they actually you could buy it on the actual website, which was disgusting. But that's another thing. So I got an Avtex TV. Now, I only went for the small version, which is a 19.5, because I didn't really want a massive TV, you know, in the van. And it's, it's handy enough for, it's small enough for it so I can move it about a bit and, and just not take a load of room up, basically. I mean, I got a bought projector for the van and that, but that's mainly for outside and stuff. But I wanted something a bit fixed, so if you're nipping somewhere and then from like that, and the daughter's like, oh, can I put YouTube on? Can I do this? Can I do that? We can just stick it on. It's got Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video. It's got all the basic TV packages on it, which is ideal for us. Now, my last TV was a Sharp, and it had all the smartphones on it, but I'll tell you what, the Wi-Fi hotspot on that was hit and miss. We could spend 20 minutes trying to get the TV to connect to the iPhone hotspots. Some days, boom, straight on, connect to it, no problem. Another days, it was having none of it. You reset the TV, reset your phone. It was just crap. So I'm hoping this one's going to be a lot better, but it's me in it, so... Probably have these issues as well. So anyway, I've got the TV, right? The DVB antenna. Now, this is where mag mount ones. I'm not too sure if it's going to be any good, whether I need to do a roof-mounted one, make it better, but I'm going to try it anyway. For the price of it, it, it I think that was about eight quid. You know, it's peanuts off of Amazon. So we'll try it anyway, see if that works. We can get some free view channels. Happy days. And I also got TV mount. I was humming and ahhing with these TV mounts, right? Whether do I undermount it under here? Do I mount it on top of the unit? Do I mount it up here? And it's real estate in the camper van. It's quite tight. So, you know, where can you put it? Do I put it on the door so we'll swivel it out? Well, there's nothing really on the B pillars where you can actually attach it to. So, my only other option, really, I think, is going on this pillar here. And there's not much meat on that, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. And I think I'm going to riven up the bracket to it. So, it's basically that. Come to the box of hardware and everything, which is mainly for wall mounting and that. But these are brilliant, you tell you. So, basically, that will go on the wall and it gives me that movement then to have the TV. So, I think the idea is going to be it's going to be here. I can have the TV like flat against the room, all the all the chairs swivel around. Granted, this seat's going to be a bit closer to TV and that, but most people sit over there anyway. And then you can swivel it around, and then when we're driving, dot has got a TV in front of the bench, so it keeps it quiet. Less of the are we there yet? How long are we going? So we'll see how that mounts up anyway, see if it works. It's shit. Let's just get let's have to get a different one, wanna try that. I was in two minds whether to get the 12.9 screen iPad, the second hand version, and use the iPad because it's quite a decent size screen, that 12.9. Seeing the price of them second hand. Oh my god. Brand new, they're stupid, but second hand, you can't get hold of them. Weren't an option, really. Now, it comes with this stand. I've took the stand off it because I'm not going to be using the stand in the van because it's not going to be sitting in the units. It's a tired little size, for it is. Hey, look at that. It's hey, dinky, isn't it? It's just a good size just for watching the decent on it. So basically, you think that'll be there, like, oh, you'll position it to the side here. And it's quite thin as well. Two HDMIs up top, headphone jacks, aerial satellites. USBs outside, Ethernet, and it's 12 volts, probably the main thing really. So you can run it 240 or you can have it on 12 volts as well. Obviously, the van has got me 12 volt. I'll put it back in here because Jones will drop it. Because when I was doing my table, I'll drop my table, chipped all that. Nightmare. But anyway, the table's doing good. Not, she's not snapped it yet. And in box of bits, you get your power brick. That's for house, that one. So you don't need that. 12 volter. So I'm going to chop that end off. Keep the proprietary plug, whatever they call them. Chop that off because I've got a power cable upstairs in this unit. Upstairs. <laughs> up there in that unit so i'm going to tap into that and then that's why into my van then because i put that in purposely for a tv because i did look at a flip down one but the way my arrangement is near now it's just not gonna work and a flip one you can't really swivel it neither you pull the remote i think the remote i'm gonna mount that probably up on top here so i'll get a little case for that don't get lost you know what same at house i had to buy an illuminous glow in the dark silicon sleeve for the um guy remote am i sick and tired of trying to find that thing i walk in the living room it's like i don't see remote you push the button you can hear a beat but you can't find out where the beat's coming from real world dramas with kids man well not kids 
everyone. So I've made a template of the TV, right? Just so I know this bracket needs to go because I don't want it where it's catching this unit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that on there so I know then where my TV is going to land. So if I have this up here, so I know the TV is not going to rattle that off. So my microphone decided to pack in. This is a marksman pen and it's what I use to mark the holes for the bracket. You see the green dots there on that one. And then this was me rib nutting three rib nuts into it just so it's solid to the base you can see it swings quite well and it's a good fit really on that one which was absolutely perfect and you see the tv mounted to it then tell you what these things right a must trying to get that cable run up there right pin it out so i've just fed two of them bad boys through stuck my cable on end and i'm gonna try and get this pulled there she goes come on don't let go of my cable over geeta there we have it one cable pull through Get these connected now, my little block, and we'll give it a test. Right, let's stick our fuse in there. Uh, up the TV line. No, that's been wired in since they built the van, so I haven't even tested that wiring yet. Switch on number four. Yeah, van is a bomb site. Let's see if we got some power. Right, flip this camera around. Right, remote. Oh, it's not coming on. What's going on? Oh, she's on. Get in there. I had a sweat on then. I thought, oh, the wire is knackered. I have to run a new wire all the way through, but we're on. Check that out. We have a TV in the cab. Right, so next one, uh, let's get this uh, cheap or nasty aerial up. See if this works. Fingers crossed. Could be onto a winner. Plenty of cable with that. Absolutely tons of it. It's a little mag mount at the bottom with an antenna what screws on. And the problem with this, well, not a problem, but I might have a problem. Because it's a powered aerial, so it's got the aerial lead which is the normal coaxial wire, whatever they call it. And then you've got the USB. Now I'm hoping this TV will power this USB, but I might struggle with it being 12 volts. Right, so let's plug this aerial in. Plug a USB in, I'm hoping. Might get power out of it. Now, there's no indicator on here. If it, oh, there is, we've got power to it. Right, so we try and tune it in. See that really, can, you can stick, see if you can on the campsite, it's more like, I can just stick it outside, but I'm gonna try it on there for a minute for the minute anyway. Right, also tuning. We got some channels. Get in there. Right, let's turn that down. Sounds not too bad neither on it, really. We know normal telly works. So let's see if we can get all my web stuff on. I've got the option. You've got like a little web store in it as well, which is quite good. Netflix, iPlayer, ITVX. It's got all the usual stuff. The one I like as well is you can get your Apple TV on it as well. YouTube. We've got the YouTube. That's a live server. Network settings. Just receive this works on my hotspot now. This is where the biggest problem on my old TV. This it was a right pain in the ass. So if I go to Wi-Fi connection, right, so it's found my house one. Has it found John's at all? We've got a nice nab you No, he had his. Something's in this around here. Oh, we found there it is. Right, let's go connect. Is this the one? Is it gonna be another sharp TV? We're on, lad. We're on. Let's try this now. Don't worry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> check that video if you've not seen it good you can even watch the caddy boys i think one thing we will check as well is how much juice this tv is using so we're banging out 39 watts 38 watts right so if i switch all lights off and at the minute now that tv is pulling in 23 watts probably six or seven watts is the actual system as well because that just runs on like six or seven watts so i for that so there we have it an avtex 19.5 inch tv with a mounting dream mount and a six quid aerial six or eight quid aerial absolutely spot on jesus i needed a shave in that video didn't i <laughs> nice one see you all next in